Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Got another 7 Days to Die video for you guys today. And in addition to my regular Let's Play and now my multiplayer videos over on my new server with my Patreon people, I just wanted to create a series where I highlight this really awesome mod I've been playing with. Um, I will leave the link in the description if you want to check this out yourself. But what makes this mod so special is that it's actually made by fans for fans. It's a prefab combo pack. There's over 200 different points of interest that adds to your game. So it's pretty much vanilla gameplay with just 200 additional points of interest. I want to show you guys some of the unique ones that are out there. I just think it's so awesome. Props to the people who've made this, who've put this together. It's over on the 7 Days to Die forums. Make sure you go check it out if you're in between alphas right now and you feel like you've done everything new and you're looking for new, more interesting things. This is going to be the series for you guys to watch. Make sure you subscribe if you already haven't. And of course, hit that like button if you like these videos and you want to see more of these unique prefabs. They're so awesome. So guys, check this out. At first, I wasn't really sure what this little building was. But then, when you go around the back, you can see it's actually one of those little electric company power plant areas that you usually have on the outskirts of neighborhoods. I thought that was really clever. This is like a unique point of interest that I would never think about putting in here. But I think it's really cool that somebody took the time to make this. And I wonder if there's going to be all kinds of, like, cool electronic-y things on the inside to get. Because it doesn't really seem like much. It's just kind of like a little building. But what does intrigue me about this is if you look at what it's all made out of, it's all upgraded concrete. So if you were to actually use this mod, it would work out really well for you to maybe spend your first couple nights here. Maybe? I mean, we'll have to see what the inside looks like. Because, see, what is this? Okay, that's 1,200, and that's 6,000. So this is, like, if you... You would only have to upgrade this once to get to the reinforced, so... That's not too bad. Oh, I already checked that one. And you got this fence, which, I mean, this fence is only, like, a hit or two, but... Hey. A fence is a fence, right? And there's even already a bit of stairs here. So you can get up and look around. Not quite sure what that symbol is. It's just kind of kind of like a line. I did think it was cool. Whoa! Hello, worker. I do not think he was there before. Back off! close. I tend to do that. Alright. Where was I? That's empty. Did I get this? Definitely need these. And I got that one. Alright. Where's the stairs? Well, where's the ladder? See, like, see how it's all reinforced? I feel like... I feel like that's really cool. Alright, let's see what's inside. There's not too many workers here. See, here's a bunch of electronics you can take apart with a wrench. That'd be good. Ooh, this is unlocked. Whoop. Oh, okay. Well, at least he didn't spawn late. What was that? Hello. For some reason, I always think it's something else. I don't know what I think it is, but I, I'm always wondering, I guess. Right. Oh, there's a downstairs! Oh, check that out. Alright, hang on. Stop destroying whatever you're destroying. I'm not done in here yet. Medicine cabinet! Ooh, wait a minute. So see, even this wall here is reinforced. So you could always stay in there. Oh my goodness, this is all reinforced down here. There's, guys, there's like a shelter down here. 
Oh, shoot. Do not blow these up, please. Is there any more? He's, like, in there. Someone really didn't want him getting out. Oh, I'll just take this time to, to do this, as long as he doesn't blow anything up. I'm getting a lot of scrap stuff. Ooh! That's a good find. We didn't have that yet. Oh, that's good. And there's some shrooms growing there. Oh! Okay. Wait! How is he up there? That's weird. Oh my goodness! Check this out! Alright, hang on. Alright, this guy's doing... Getting a lot of work done here. Let me, uh... Get him out of here. Whoa! That was, like, one hit. So he destroyed something that had loot in it. Oh, okay. That was good. It's a good thing he didn't destroy this box. There's even a file cabinet here. What a rocket launcher schematic! This is, like, a pretty good spot. You could- look at this! You could live here! You could, like, seal that up! That'd be awesome. That would be, like, an awesome beginner place. Almost maybe a little too easy, you guys think? I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. What is this? There's a missing block there. Oh! <gasps> munitions thing. Oh, someone- he was already living here, apparently. What's in here? What's in here? What's in here? This place comes with food, water- Oh! <gasps> No way! What is this? Oh my gosh! You guys, this is awesome! Whoa! This is so awesome! I already have these, but you can sell these. See what's in here. Ooh, taking those. Well, this has been awesome, you guys. I love this one. Whoever made this definitely, I guess, had uh, living in it in mind. Because I feel like this is perfect. All you'd have to do is take care of these stairs. And you could totally live down here. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of that sort of thing. Do you think that... Like, it's too easy, or it doesn't make it fun, or do you think that this is just awesome variation to add more to the game? I think this is cool. Uh, it definitely does help you out a lot. But, as always, thank you so much for watching. This has been an awesome little power plant thing. And, as always, I will see you guys in the next one.